Hello friends, today I am going to solve lead code problem number 1572 matrix diagonal sum. In this problem, we have a square matrix and we need to return the sum of the matrix diagonals. So matrix diagonals are like there is a primary diagonal and a secondary diagonal. So we take the sum of all elements on primary diagonal and all elements of secondary diagonal that are not part of the primary diagonal. Okay, so let's look at this example here. Okay, let us look it here. So, uh, what is the primary diagonal? This is the primary diagonal, right? It goes from left, top left to bottom right, all right? And the secondary diagonal goes from top right to bottom left, all right? So, as we could see, like the primary diagonal and secondary diagonal has elements. So, what are the elements in primary diagonal? 1, 5, 9. What about secondary diagonal? There are 3, 5, 7. So, we see that 5 is being repeated in uh, primary diagonal and in secondary diagonal as well, right? So, we actually need only one instance of this element 5 but uh, both of them have twice right so how can we take care of that also like how do we add um, each of these elements to get the sum right how do we find each of these elements uh, in the primary and secondary diagonal okay so for that let's see so um primary diagonal in a matrix in a square matrix is when the index index of both the column and the rows are equal so if this is a matrix m if this is a matrix m and we have indices 0 1 2 for the columns and for the rows we have 0 1 2 all right so this matrix is of length 3 okay so you could see right at index 0 0 we have our primary uh, first element of primary matrix primary diagonal at index 1 1 we also have another element right and also we have the third element at index 2 2 right so basically the primary matrix is uh, the elements in the primary matrix could be found using this formula, right? Where both the values uh, of uh, like row and column are equal. Now, what about the secondary element? Like element in the secondary diagonal, how are we able to found, find that? So, let's see how could we find the elements in secondary diagonal. So, the first element is at index 0, 2, okay? So that would be the first element is if i is equals to 0, i represents the index 0, then um, that would be m, i. And the last one, um, the column is at index 2, right? So let's just take the value 2. Next, for i is equals to, so this is i equals to 0, right? For i equals to 1, um, okay, I'm just going to take 1. We have it at value 1. Okay, column 1. For i is equals to 2, we have at column 0, okay? So, here we have the column 0. So, now how do we um, uh, create an equation out of this so that we could just like use, use that equation to find our secondary elements just like we did for our uh, elements in the primary diagonal so let's see these are just the values of i right so that that is i now what about the next element if you see the value 2 and the length of the matrix 3 and the value 0 okay so what you could see is that uh, the the value 2 is one difference from the um, length and um this index i right so it is basically n minus i minus one okay so when i is equals to zero n is always equals to three right when i is equals to zero then three minus one gives us the value two when i is equals to one three minus one 
minus 1 gives us the value 1 which is here and when i is equals to 2 3 minus 1 gives us a 2 and 2 minus 1 oh sorry when i is equals to 2 right so n is 3 i is equals to 2 so 3 minus 2 gives us a 1 1 minus 1 gives us a 0 so we are basically able to find our both um primary elements in the primary matrix and elements in the secondary matrix using these equations now how can we take care of this value which is repeating right so if you could would see this is a three by three matrix so that it means that the length is odd and we know that in the in uh, like any any series any sequence which is of length odd suppose like we have one two three four five we always have a middle value right which separates the whole sequence in two equal halves right also if you could take like five six seven this is also odd that and it is divided by this value four it divides it into three three right halves of three and three but if you would take an even count it doesn't divide like there is no middle value right where it intersects which uh, divides it into two half we are actually taking a value between the two values right so it is only in the case of odd that the number will divide that an element will divide um, the values in half so only in case of odd we are going to uh, uh, like uh, take this case into consideration like in case of odd five will be repeated twice so at the end like once we have taken all the sum we would know that if it is odd then five should have been repeated like right so we just uh, subtract from our sum so from our total sum what do we subtract we we here it is five right but in case in other cases in general cases we cannot just subtract five right there could be other values so we have to subtract that value so to generalize the formula we will uh, five is the middle value right so what are we going to do is we are going to take the middle value of the array uh, that would be equals to uh, the floor value of um, the length of the array divide by 2 okay so what is the floor value of 3 by 2 it is equals to 1 so that would be the formula so we are going to subtract from the sum the matrix element at the middle index at the end okay so that is how we are going to perform this operation now let's try to uh, code it down okay so for our code what do we need we need uh, this equation and this equation so this will give us the primary elements this will give us the elements in the secondary diagonal and then if it is odd then we are going to subtract the middle value from our sum else we don't do anything and then we return our sum at the end okay so now let us start coding so we need our sum is equals to zero okay before that let's look at the constraints so n is equals to the length of the matrix that is equals to the length of the columns the number of columns so basically that means it is a square matrix the value of n is between 1 and 100 that is the length of matrix is between 1 and 100 and each of the elements is between 1 and 100 okay so just to check for the base condition which is always good to do in any interviews so if um the length if the matrix is not a square matrix that is if the length of rows is not equal to the number of columns then we are just going to return else we create a sum and then let us represent n with the length of the matrix now let us iterate over each of the element in our matrix so n i is equals to zero i is less than n i plus plus so uh, how do we find our primary matrix i mean element in the primary diag diagonal by using this right for index i 
we get the primary the element in the primary diagonal and for the same index we get the element in the secondary diagonal so if i is equals to zero we get it here and this value here right so uh, the sum would be sum plus equals to matrix at index i i plus matrix at index i and minus i minus one all right so once we have the sum we have to subtract uh, the value subtract the last element i mean subtract the middle value if it if the matrix is odd right so what we do is um we check if the matrix is odd or not so i um and modulo of two if it is equals to one that is when we know it is odd so in that case we are just going to subtract from our matrix uh the middle value right okay so let me just create the mid value equals to um math dot floor value of um and divide by two all right so this gives uh, this gives us our mid value so now we are just subtracting our mid value from the sum if it is odd and then finally we return our sum so now let's try to run our code and see if it works awesome let's submit this great so talking about the time complexity um, since we are iterating over each of the elements in the matrix and if the matrix is uh, like we are only iterating over the rows right we are not iterating over the columns so um, that would be O of n if there are n number of rows and our space complexity would be constant because we are not like using any additional spaces right so that's all about this solution the, the now um let me know in the comments down below what do you think about my solution and please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you